Hello, Greg from Balloon Markets here and welcome to BMTV. First of all, I'd like to say a big, 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 big thank you to everybody watching and particularly to everybody that subscribed. We're nearly at a thousand subscribers on YouTube. If We might even be there actually by now by the time you watch this, but if we're not and you've not subscribed, please subscribe. It would make me very happy. Please, thank you. Um, but yes, thank you for watching. What we're trying to do is just put out good content that's going to help you in your business. It's going to help you um, know what's what's happening from a product point of view. It's going to help give you some advice, you know, how to create balloon decorations, how to do this, how to do that. But if there's anything, anything at all that you think would be good for BMTV and we're not doing, please let me know and we'll see if we can do that. But again, thank you so much for watching. We really, really do appreciate it. So, okay, this week, I am going to share with you a tip that changed my life. Oh yes, um, but we can't do it here. No, no, we can't do it here. We need more space. So once I've shown you a few products here, we're going to go downstairs into the warehouse and we're, I'm going to show you this tip that, that changed my life. Anyway, right, to start with, some products here. Um, these are all from a company called Creative Party. And a Creative Party, they're just down the road from us. We're in Southampton, they're in Bournemouth. Um, hi, Creative guys, how are you doing? Um, and some of these things we saw at the Spring Fair. So we thought we'd share them with you. Now these, let's start with these. These are table center type things. They're actually called birthday table decorations. Um, and their numbers, there's 18, 21, there is 30, I've just not got it here for some reason, 40, 50 and 60. Um, they're made of sort of foam, -y, solid -y foam covered in glitter. You will get glitter on your fingers, that's why I've not taken them out, because you get glitter on your fingers, you get it on your face. It adds sparkle to life, however. But these are, are great things and I guess the creative ones of you out there would be able to take this, do something with it. We talked about loamy dishes the other week, maybe put it in a loamy dish, some balloons, or put a, a small balloon base together and attach them to that somehow. Uh, I asked Rachel if, if you could actually tie balloons to this, and she, she thinks you probably could. Uh, we weighed them, they're about 110 to 140, 50 grams, uh, depending which number you've got, and that should hold down three to four latex balloons, no problem at all, we think. Um, I asked Rach how she would tie them on. She said she'd probably just tie it on in the in the sort of gap that there is in the numbers. Um, but I guess you could also get a little eyelet or something like that, tie on there. I'm not sure, I don't know if that would work, it might not work, but uh, my mechanical mind is thinking, tie it in there and it'd be cleaner because you'd be tying onto the eyelet. But apparently, I'm told that gold is very on vogue this year. Yeah, I've not practiced that at all. Um, yeah, so last year it was silver and black was very on vogue. This year, gold and black and gold on its own is uh, apparently where it's coming from. And it's happening in fashion and stuff like that as well. So that's what I'm told. Um, Speaking of gold, we've got these over here. These are sort of a matching range, I guess. Um, like I say, everything's from creative. We've, got, we've only got the 50 and the happy birthday bunting. We were thinking 50, 50th anniversary, gold. Um, but we'll probably be getting the other bunting in as well. But that's gold and black and white as well. So sort of in the theme there. Now, a couple of kids things. My daughter, hugely into mermaids at the moment, which is something called H2O, something or other on TV. Um, and um, yeah, mermaids are in. So this is called Mermaid Friends. Um, we've got the cups, the plates, and the table cover. I think we've got napkins as well, actually. And the other one is tractors. If you've got a farm near you that allows visitors, get to them and say, hey, do you have farm parties? You want this. Um, everybody loves tractors, particularly with big wheels on the front and the back. So you normally have them on the back and you've got little wheels on the front. Well, I like this tractor because it's got big wheels front and back. So yeah, kids parties for the sort of farmyard parties are, are happening as well. Now, at Christmas, we got some photo booth props and my dad and me and Rach and the girls and Rachel's mum, we all sat around the table and we were all a bit silly. And these photo booth props, if you've been to a wedding recently and there was a photo booth there, they normally come with the props and people put them in front of their face and, and all that. In fact, I'm going to open them. I'm going to open them and just show you. Now, the ones we had at Christmas were quite flimsy. You had the sticks and you had to stick the bits on. Well, these ones come already with the stick attached and it's quite a little sturdy stick. Yes, it is. And um, they're just great little things. Uh, oh, here's a moustache. Hello. And what else have we got here? Oh, Rob, action. 
Um, so yeah, they're great. We've got these ones here. These are obviously a movie theme one. It's got, uh, oh, it's got popcorn. Look, popcorn there, popcorn there. And um, then there's other ones that we've got. That these, this is a chalkboard one. And it comes with a couple of pieces of chalk in there as well already. So you can just write whatever message you want on, on the blank pieces of card. And then this one, I guess, more of a girly, girly setup, BFF, a best friend forever, I understand that stands for. So, um, yeah, more of a girly thing. Now, the way I look at these is if you're a party organiser or a decorator, balloon decorator, or you're doing weddings or something like that, I think these are a great add-on. I talk a lot about add-on sales um, because if you are selling a full package to somebody in their wedding, at their wedding, say you're decorating the venue, you're doing the balloons, you're putting confetti on the table, if you had one of these on each table, you saw how silly I was just there with oh, popcorn. Um, everybody's got the phone, everybody's taking pictures, there'd be a lot more pictures, social media, that wedding would be going all over the place. Plus, it's a great icebreaker. People don't necessarily know each other. So I, I think they're great for that sort of thing. So they're in stock now. In fact, it's all in stock now. Right, that tip that changed my life. We've got to go into the warehouse, so follow me. Hello, so here we are in the warehouse and this tip really is going to change your life. Right, you're in a venue, you've got really high ceilings like we've got here in the warehouse and you're just inflating balloons, as you do. Inflate, inflate, inflating the balloon. Tying knots in them, it's all good. Using the way Mark showed me there. Still not very good at tying knots. Yeah. Really bad. And then, uh-oh. I've, I've let go of the balloon by accident. What'd you do? How'd you get it down? The venue's gonna go crazy at you. What are you gonna do? This is what you do. You get another balloon. You inflate that. And this time you get a really long piece of ribbon tie that again the way Mark showed me. Now this is the interesting bit. You get some sellotape, just good old normal sellotape. You could use the balloon tape that we showed you the other week that we did the test with the weights on, but if you don't have any of that normal sellotape works fine. I'm just going to put a few pieces of sellotape on here. This is just normal everyday sellotape that you would have in the house or at work. I'm just going to put one more on. You just fold it over on itself, just sticky both sides, stick it on like that. And then we need to release this slowly up. And that sticks to the other balloon. Look at that, magic. And that is how you get an escaped balloon. Anyway, I hope you found that tip useful. I hope it's changed your life the way it's changed my life. And I hope to see you again next week. Have a great week, bye. We've got the Queen's birthday. She's going to be 90. I cannot believe that. I remember when I was at school, uh, 1977, the Queen's Silver Jubilee, and I stood at the side of the road in the roasting heat, waiting for this car to just, just go past. And it's like, hey, hello, hello. So, you know what I had? I had a flag. So if you need a flag, we've got them. What we've got here is we've got one of our large three foot balloons, a massive impact. Um, and I've, I've, I've double stuffed that with a diamond clear so that you get the uh, beautiful print on the outside. So when you say double stuffing, what do you mean by double stuffing? So I mean putting one balloon inside another and then inflating the inside balloon so that you get one solid balloon with a print overlaid.